Instead of rhyme, it was about boxing. Boxy on the griddle, boxy on the pan. If you can't make boxy, you'll never get a man. Now you're okay, but I'm not so sure about you. <laughs> Do you make pancake mix? You like pancakes, yeah? This is a, a very simple, it's a potato pancake mix, that's all it is. But basically what you want to do is kind of get a nice batter, nice mix in there. Just like, now, you can blitz this with a gun, but you're not going to get the grain out of the grated raw potato. And that's, that's important to get that little bite, that little crunch into your thing. But that looks a pretty good mix. you got to wait for the starches to come out and release themselves. The milk actually helps that. I'm trying to write a book on, on box tea. But I can't write it because my mother will never forgive me. Because Mrs. Mulligan made the best box tea in our town. <laughs> I have to say. And it's her recipe I'm stealing. You make pancakes? What happens to the first one? Thank you. Sticks to the pan. It always sticks to the pan. So what do you do with it? Give it to the dog. <laughs> All right, there we go. See, when it dries out on this side, then you can flip it. Uh, as a kid, we used to eat this with sugar. Friday evening was great. Mrs. Mulligan's house was, every kid in town was there. Uh, one of the sauces we do with this is a cream blue cheese sauce, okay? Um, obviously in Ireland we have very, very good dairy, which really helps. Now part of that is down to the wonderful weather we have, which I'm sure visitors all love. All that rain, it's very, very good for what the cows eat, which is the grass. First thing first, we're going to just brown these fellas off, okay? All low cholesterol stuff, lads. <laughs> yeah. What I'm adding here, this is cashew blue cheese. This comes from Tipperary. Uh, it's probably one of Ireland's most popular cheeses. So just something you may want to add if you're trying something like this is a little bit of Worcester sauce. It helps kind of cut a little bit of the, the blue cheese's taste. And uh, also, of course, you gotta have a little bit of salt and pepper. Not too much salt. When you're cooking with blue cheese, in general, you put a little bit less salt because it tends to have a bit of a salty taste anyway. Can you organize whiskey for me? How many? Look at the glasses and some hot water. How many do I have? Uh, a coffee dish. Yeah. Give me, give me a bottle. Let's be safe. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to do it. <laughs> Time for a whiskey. I asked for a bottle and wanted the feckin' give me. I think I've done this before, no? <laughs> so we fill the centre of it, roll it, not unlike a burrito uh, or a, 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 like a taco, and fill, we fill the centre, roll it, and that's it. That's what become famous as box tea throughout the world. Uh, been copied all over the place. I had a patent on it, but I couldn't afford a lawyer. Uh, but such is life, you know. I'm still here. We're open here 23 years. Next month, 23 years. I was only two. <laughs> Here's the poem. Oh, half potato on my plate. It is too soon to celebrate the centenary of 48, or even 47. You're boasted to the centre, too, and wet and soapy groils soil you grew. But I am thankful still to you for hints of history given. There's something lonely far away in what you symbolise today. For me, the half that went astray, of life uncompleted. But up brown drills new pink buds start, with truer truth than truth of art, ignoring the last crop's broken heart and generations defeated. Oh, here is life without a wife. A half potato. Eat it. <laughs>